is holding up pretty well, which I feel like God definitely finds favor in Tobago. Certainly. <laughs> Didi, no. you got that right. Wow. Yes, Mr. Alan Stewart with me this morning from Tima, Tobago yes. Emergency Management Agency. How are you, sir? I'm doing pretty all right. Uh, we want to make sure that the rest of Tobago is doing okay. Most definitely. And we want to make sure that um, in the light of all the inclement weather, right. that we bring to it the safety package to ensure Most that security definitely. and safety is well in place for the carnival going forward. Now, before we go forward, last night we had heavy, hefty showers. Can you tell me a little bit about some of the landslides? Incidents as yes, they occurred. Reason, that's it. I, I think it is might be imperative for me to put it into perspective. So we are now treating with over, for the month, over 522 reports. Wow. Um, 454 of those reports can be alluded to what we would have had earlier on this month right. and overnight we would have seen that we would have experienced about 12 additional reports which seemingly um, consist of uh, block roads right. and also flash flooding some of which were residential um, our objective was to make sure that the thoroughfares remain as clear as possible right. so the emergency crews are out there doing what they can to make sure that people get to work on time. So they have no reason to go back to kitchen that song about leave me alone right. for the carnival, you know? You're talking about work. So That's we, right. We don't even want to be here. It, it, it's important that we, we create that kind of balance because uh, as it relates to security and safety, um, to make it a safe carnival for those of you who wish to get to those venues, uh, those three venues, it's important that the thoroughfare remain free of debris and also we bring to the table um, some of the cautions that are imperative in, in, in doing so. Definitely. So via the east and west of Tobago, where do you see most of these incidents occurring? On the north side of Tobago, which is a major, major thoroughfare. We, early this morning, we expect that feature to take place. Um, yes. In the southwest, on this end, what you will have is more flash flooding. Right. Um, however, the area, the geography of the area allow for the water to subside very quickly. So yes. you, just, you will not have standing flooding unless you are dealing with that, the area just across um, the street where the Division of Infrastructure oh, yes. is dealing with that, that, that challenge. Definitely. So uh, we expect in the east, um, there will be instability with some of the slopes. Right. And therefore, we ask road users to exercise caution when going back and forth to ensure that you pay attention to these loops because right. they can become unstable and you will have failure. And as a result of that, there will be down lines, uh, down trees, uh, landslides blocking the road. Right. But uh, based on the plan going forward, we have done all with the Division of Infrastructure yes. um, to ensure that the decentralization of equipment and resources to respond to these incidents as they occur. I love to hear that, which means that you all are working and you all are working over time. Yes, certainly. Right? And another important thing is what is happening with the carnival. The carnival is on, Bego Carnival is on, and therefore um, we would have set up what you call a joint operation uh, coordinating center with right. the, uh, between the security and the medical forces to ensure that revelers uh, enjoy a bit of safety while safety. doing their thing. You know, it is said safety comes first. It should. Uh, and therefore, we put that on top of our list. I you like know, that. Many people don't do it, but it's our responsibility to bring that to the fire. All Most right? Definitely. Good, good. So uh, we will see in the Crown Point area, um, there will be uh, advanced medical posts. There will also be uh, security um, forces allowing for that level of surveillance yes. to ensure that you know there are no uh, impedance to right. the festivity that will um, brand or spoil the brand of the Bego Carnival. All right, my last question for you before we get into our festivities, our Carnival yes. Friday is: okay. What would your message be to Tobagoans for this Carnival? I think what is what is necessary at this time is that people, while they are having fun that they understand the hazards that they're associated with. Right. For example, flood waters is not something that you play with. Um, Definitely. You know, leptospirosis is real, and yes. therefore you stay away from flood waters. That's if in, there mean. will be the possibility of heavy downpours mm -hmm. uh, as a result of the ITTZ being over us. Yes. And therefore, if there is heavy downpour and there is a flood waters mm -hmm. or flash flooding, 
Don't turn around, don't drown. All right. So clearly what Tima is saying is stay safe, stay safe.